Today I would like to present you an interesting Sistema style called Rose Sistema. This particular style reminds me of the internal Chinese martial arts the most, a topic in which I'm really really invested in. Well, without any further ado, let's take a look, maybe you'll find some similarities as well. The full name of Ross Sistema is Rossiyskaya Techistina Sistema Samozashite, which can literally be translated as a native Russian system of self-defense. The peculiarity of this particular Sistema is that it mixes the principles of plasticity and softness from various traditional Slavic war dances. It is well recorded that many ancient Slavic tribes had a ritualistic dance which they performed before the battle, possibly as a warm-up or to enter a trance-like state to lose their fear of death. In the recent history, Zaporozhian Cossacks were famed for their pre-battle dance called Hopak, which is still highly regarded and practiced in Ukraine to this day. But of course, each Slavic tribe had its own dancing tradition. The roots were the same, of course, but since the tribes were isolated from each other for such a long time, they had different evolution. Unfortunately, not many of these Slavic war dances survived to this day. However, in case of Ukrainian Hopak, it did luckily survive, well, rel relatively intact, you know, but it had like uh, well, a transformation which basically went from war dance to opera or theater play, which still plays a very important part in Ukraine today, and many people are practicing it for, well, for the sake of the art itself. Precisely, the originator, the creator of the Ross Sistema, Alexander Retuinskich, is said to be of a Cossack ancestry. He was born in 1953 in Dzerzhinsk, Russia, and according to his biography, he has started training in gymnastics from 7 years old and reaching a pretty solid level by the age of 12, when his father signed him up to study boxing. After learning the fundamentals of the fist fighting methods, he was signed up for Sambo, which he really enjoyed and spent learning and mastering it for another 5 years. By the age of 19, he got interested in the traditional judo and began practicing in it, and due to his impressive physical prowess and well-rounded development, he was accepted in a Spetsnaz unit where he was introduced to Sistema by Kalashnikov himself. Since that fateful meeting, they kept training and teaching together until their split in 1991, when Alexander Rituinsky patented his own Sistema school called Ross Sistema. As is typical for other Sistema styles, in the Ross Sistema the emphasis on the specific techniques is avoided, focusing instead on learning the principles of plasticity, body mechanics, power generation and improvisation. This sweep-like power generation that comes from the relaxation and the changes in the body positioning reminds me a little bit of Bao Fali and Fa Jing, a concept that is widely talked about in the internal Chinese martial arts community such as Tai Chi Chuan and Bagua Zhang, yet it's often misunderstood in practice. Most martial artists who criticize the internal Chinese martial arts claim that Fajin is performed through a specific pose and body alignment, which are almost impossible to pull off in a real fight against a moving opponent. And that's indeed true, that's why martial arts such as Taji Chuan, Bagua Zhang or Sistema have this concept of sticking to your opponent. Once you are able to stick closely to your opponent, you can manipulate his center of gravity to add up even more power to your own fajing. That's why the practices of Tui Shou or pushing hands are so essential for such arts. Unlike Taiji Chuen though, Ross Sistema has a more free-flowing power generation, not having any rigid forms for practice and avoiding the immobile Zhang Zhuang practices, they try to generate power during the changes in body positioning on the fly, and when they can't, they try to absorb some extra power from the strikes of their opponents. Once again, there is no magic here, just biomechanics and torques. When everything works out perfectly though, it does look rather impressive, almost reminiscent of something fake or magical. Admittedly, it's really hard to pull off in a real fight when adrenaline starts pumping in and you are seen red. That's why the practices of breathing and mental regulation play such an important aspect in most Sistema and internal Chinese martial arts schools. Unlike in other Sistema styles, the training in Ross Sistema is broken up in 8 parts, which often go in rotation, with several of the parts being worked on in a single session. These parts are the following. 
Рукопашный бой – basically a typical ARB session. Strength training – akin to wrestling with lifting up your opponents and working with weights. Knife fighting – sambo training. Traditional Slavic war dances, adaptability to different environments and situations, star fighting, and breathing and softness training. Overall, it is rather a complete martial art, at least theoretically. Yes, they don't usually participate in martial arts competitions, but Rukopashne Boy and Sambo do form a part of his curriculum, and they do spar in those disciplines full contact. In my humble opinion, and with my experience in this art so far, I think that what ruined the image of Sistema is the lack of quality control. Simple as that. Some instructors are really great and know what they are doing, and have this worked methodical approach on how to learn and how to actually deliver the information, and others are just trying to cash in on the exotic nature of Sistema, and have no actual clue how it works and how to apply it. As for me, I never tried Ross Sistema, but I think that combining the principles of Kalashnikov with a more down-to-business martial arts such as Rukopashne Boy and Sambo would allow you to try out these principles in a real full-contact sparring rather than static slow-motion drills. Unfortunately, even though this is one of the oldest and well-rounded Sistema styles out there, it also happens to be one of the least commercial and popular ones. Apart from Russia, currently the only other schools are present in Scotland, England, Belarus and Ukraine. Now that you know some of the details about this particular style of Sistema, please let me know your opinion, I would like to know what, what do you think about it in regards to other styles. Also, if, if you happen to be an enthusiast or a practitioner of traditional Chinese internal martial arts, tell me, do you notice any similarities? Let me know in the comments below. We will eventually come back to Sistema again, I think several times more, because there are still many misconceptions and many intricate details regarding breathing, biomechanics and techniques. Even though there are still many people who think that, well, it's not an efficient martial art and for a good reason, I think it's more like it's more the fault of the, of the fraudulent teachers which got out after the collapse of the Soviet Union. So we'll see. But until then, remember to stay strong, stay healthy, and to never neglect knowledge. Peace out.